Next, I want to talk about the screen a little bit. I know it's probably a little hard to tell in the, with this video camera and the glare, how good the screen looks, but the screen looks very nice. It's 12 inches, but um, you definitely, you know, it uses it. It looks nice. It's lit well. Um, you know, you get the brightness up. It looks very good. I used to have a 13-inch HP screen, and I, th I thought that was kind of small, but this does not feel small. I don't know what they did, but I like it. Um, next thing I just want to say, mention is that the I did have it, you know, this VGA port on the side. It's not a full VGA port. You need a com this converter. You, it comes with it, so you don't have to pay anything. Don't worry, not like the iPad HDMI or anything. And you plug this in into the side, and then you got a little VGA thing on the end. So um, I used this to power my 42-inch um, HD TV, and it powered it great. So the next thing I want to talk about is just, you know, opening up new tabs, windows, how much can this thing actually handle, um, you know, how can it buffer videos, like, just how, how good is it, how, does it work well? So I've had 30 tabs open, 40 tabs open, and you can get new windows going. So I got this window with my Google Calendar and my uh, web store up, and then I got, you know, this window with Canvas Rider up. And then I can, you know, switch between them. You know, this was my first one with the six tags, tabs. Got YouTube, Google Docs, a new tab. And I got this one, Angry Birds and Camus Rider. It's all worked pretty well, except once or twice, if I seem to have more than, like, 20 tabs open on one window, it seems to get laggy and might crash. If you've ever used Chrome, you get that little symbol sometimes when it crashes. Um... You just refresh and it works fine. Alright, as far as video watching and buffering, YouTube, you can watch full 1080p videos without too much of a problem on home Wi-Fi. My home Wi-Fi is pretty good, but, you know, it sh you should still be able to do that even on a basic uh, internet plan. Um, Netflix, they do not currently support um, Chromebooks, but it, you, it's little captions or whatever it's saying. They will hope to have more details and, you know, some sort of player in the next couple months. Hopefully that means we'll be able to watch Netflix on this by the end of summer, maybe Halloween or November time, um, sometime later this year. Hulu, Hulu looks great. It plays, it works, it plays HD, not too much lag, no lag, a little bit of buffering, looks good. Skype. Uh, I know a lot of you are going to be asking about Skype because it's got the webcam, it's it's a netbook, you, you want to Skype your friends, chat your friends. Well, Skype's not going to work on the Chromebook just from the fact that Google's got Google uh, Video Chat, is it Google Talk, I don't know. They got their own version of Skype, so you will not be seeing Skype, at least in the near future, on this um, netbook. About the webcam is that... Um, this nothing supports the webcam yet so if you go to youtube.com or chat roulette or anything like that and you click upload you know and you try to make a record from webcam video or you know use video chat your friends besides using google video chat it, you get it will not discover the webcam so currently the only thing far as i know in the world that supports this webcam is google video chat so not too much use to that, kind of annoying. Hopefully we'll get some support on this in the coming months. I'll, I'll put a little annotation here or something when, you know, when it starts to support it. So my final thoughts on this, um, it works well, it's nice, I have good hope for it, hopes for it, but it still feels like a beta. Yes, there was the, maybe you'd call it alpha, but they technically did call it a beta Chromebook that came out a couple months ago that I believe was by Samsung that some people got for free to review and talk about but like it just this still feels like a beta um, the cloud printing it's a beta it works very well it's very close to a full release but you know it's still a beta and even as a uh, as a full release it's printing still doesn't quite support as many printers or there aren't not as many printers that support it uh, quite out yet um, the music. The music is still beta and that's still even invite. Yes, there's some third-party applications on the Chrome Web Store that you can check out and download and there's some radio apps, but there's still no official Google Music. 
We've also got um, just the problem of a little bit of crashing. Um, and there's not, there's just like no warning that's gonna crash. Like there, there's no f like, you know, a little bit of jumping, it just crashes. A little bit of a pain, but luckily everything's saved in the cloud. It's not that big of a deal. Um, we've also got the fact that just some of the video services don't quite work. Netflix, they don't even have a you know beta. They don't have anything for it yet. Um, and HBO Go is very pixelated and barely watchable. Um, not very enjoyable. But we'll have to compare this one to the Acer one, which has a one inch smaller screen and an HDMI out down here instead of a VGA. Um, we'll also have to see if anything gets updated in this coming week or so bef um, before the official release of this device and you know over the next couple months as Google gets feedback from thousands of people using this and towards Christmas time when they're trying to make it work and um, we'll have to just see. Um, I have good hopes for it you know I really hope this could really be um, useful because I'm kind of into it I have a laptop I have desktops I have phones I have tablets but I, I, I feel this has potential they, it just needs a little bit of work um, but we'll see thanks for watching please comment with any questions down below that I forgot thumbs up and subscribe